sorry about that, but welcome back here. It's so important. It's a fat day for me today. So I have a humongous balance to share with you guys today. I've been out and out. So I've saved up this really large haul. I mean, large haul. Talking big for y'all. Um, and so I want to go ahead. Stuff is stuffed everywhere. So I'm just going to start with like some minimal things. Um, so this is from last weekend and last night and today um, at two of my Dollar Trees locally. So we're talking about socks. Yes, we are. We're going to start with socks. Gildan Smart Basics Men's Fashion Crew Sock Shoe Size for 6 through 12. Oh, I just love this print. I love it. I love the colors. And then they had this one where it's the blue kind of like, oh, no, this is not. Yeah. And so the blue comes down on its foot. And then it's an all black. And at the foot, it's the print like on the other one. So I pick those up and then buy Pro Sprints Performance One Pair Low Cut Men's. It is these ones. And I'll have to take off the sticker and tell you how. So I bought two pairs of these. My son's my son, he really liked these. So I picked them up for him. Let's see if I can get the sticker off here for y'all. <laughs> the price just is GG. Let's see if the Gildan has a price on it. I, I'm, y'all, I'm all for looking. I'm all for getting a deal, a bargain at the Dollar Tree Hall. Um, you know, I live in Virginia that I don't live far from um, Greenbrier International Headquarters. And down in Chesapeake, Virginia, um, this doesn't have a price on it either, so I'm surprised that it doesn't, but hey, I'm for it. And I also found these Power Lights, they're size large, Power Socks by Gold Toe, and it's like sports socks. And it says Aqua FX keeps feet dry, half cushion foot bed, arch brace for support, mesh ventilation on the top. So the top of the shoe, the top of the sock, excuse me, has mesh ventilation. And then the other one, the other pair is black and green and then green with yellow on the bottom. And the mesh ventilation's up here. And comfort toe seam. So this size, these are two pairs. This is a size large. So, size large fit suit shoe size 9 to 12 and a half. I was bummed that they didn't have the medium. The medium is what my son would normally wear because he's in a men's size shoe. He's in a size, um, I think, six and a half in men's and like a seven in like youth. Um, he can even wear some of my shoes, and that's just crazy to me. And while we're on socks I found hold on because they're like I told you everything was shoved everywhere in different bags today so these are go gold toe and these are women's socks they're fashion gold toe premier fashion oh I just love these they're like beige and they have like little roses on them they're just so cute with a gold toe so that looks like this I got two pairs of those. Yes, I did. Um, I don't think they have a price on theirs either. I don't know. I don't know if they. But what's so funny, y'all, if you look, oh, it says that they're gray. Okay, they originally went for $7, and I got this for $1.25, y'all. Yes, I'm there for it. I'm there for these gold toe socks. It actually says, if you read fine print, goldtoe.com has a website, but it's manufactured by Gildan, you know, the t-shirt brand. Then I found these socks, and I just love these. 
these are the um the argyle patterns so i found one that with aqua blue and navy and then i found one for like fuchsia pink and orange oh my gosh and these were seven dollars a piece i'm loving these for work y'all work yes i'm loving them and then i found this these is a size medium which i was glad because it's my shoe size it's for women um mossy oak lady socks one pair simulated crew art has simulated crew arch support and it's like the pattern with the mossy oak emblem like the um and it's like y'all even it says mossy oak on the bottom of the socks and these are let's see um they're crew socks so they're gonna go up a ways I'm trying to see if they have a price underneath this tag real quick. I'm sure they do. Mossy Oak, you know, is usually at Walmart. It's It can be expensive. Um, that on my side of the sticker. You know how part of the sticker will pull up and then part of it won't. Nope. But it's made with something polyester and spandex. And y'all, I'm here for it. I love some socks. I mean, and they, they are soft. They're soft. They'll like keep you warm socks. And it says, I love it at the top. It's not a passion. It's an obsession. Yes, an obsession with socks. So I got myself four pairs. I got my son one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of socks. And then this pair of socks is um, for a gift. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. So that's my socks. And beans that were on, wait a minute, no, there's more socks. Wait a minute, wait a minute. These are power socks by Gold Toe 2. These are for women, two pairs small. And it's like the deep magenta power elite with aqua FX moisture management technology. Home and game, away game socks. So these are like for like girls playing like soccer or softball, they had these. And it says, two pack, it says power, power arch and leg. Strategic ribbon creates the ultimate fit for any athlete on the move. These were originally $10, y'all. I found these last weekend and got them for $1.25. Yes, I'm there for it. No, I don't play any sports, but if I did, I wear these. I'm probably going to gift them to somebody. But look at that. You see that? Wonderful. So, I think that's all the socks now. I think so. So, while we are on, like, clothing for the DT, I picked up the Gildan Adult Pocket T-shirt. It's already made with pre-shrunk cotton. Um, and it's a size large. It's this pink. I absolutely love it. I have a purple one that I got there that's the v-neck and I love that one too and so I'm just enjoying getting um t-shirts for $1.25 yes ma'am yes ma'am all right <clears throat> let's see okay so for some crafting items and then I'll get into like food and some other stuff. Like I said, everything is split up everywhere. I made an Easter egg wreath. I showed you my carrot wreath hanging on the wall. That's not really where that carrot wreath is staying. I just put it up for there for now um, because I haven't gotten down my Easter decorations yet. I'm kind of waiting until after um, spring break to do so. But I did get my wreaths done. That's another uh, video that I'll add into you guys, my Easter decor. I will go through all my Easter decor. That's all from Dollar Tree, okay? So, I made an Easter egg wreath, and I glued on the little mini egg ornaments. I just pulled the string out. It comes out very easy. I used the mesh, um, and I kind of just, I made a bow, but the bow wouldn't fit on it. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and gotten the medium size like picks and I'm gonna take the picks off and pick them in there and put them on the wreath as well. 
And then I figured I will add this touch, just a small bow somewhere. And I added one of the little picks that's the Easter bunnies. I added that too. So you'll be able to see the finished product, but it's all from Dollar Tree, everything, even the wreath form. They had the Easter egg wreath form this year and I got that. So there are the eggs. And then I found this pretty ribbon that says Happy Easter and that like egg, like robin egg blue with that little pink and green egg on it. So I will add that. More for, let's see. More for Dollar Tree. Let's see. Yo, I told you I got a ton of stuff. I told you. It's like everywhere. So picked up also um, this, and this was in the tool bench hardware. And I was like, hey, that would have looked very cool um, as, you know, rope garland. It's the cotton twine. So I got the cotton twine, you know, kind of that's what it looks like. I got a roll of that. Um, sorry about that. I had a phone call coming in. Had to call on that. And then I picked up some more. One of my DTs had the big, thick glue sticks. The big, thick ones for my bigger gun. Pick those up. Um, and don't think I showed you guys this stuff. I really don't think I have. If I have, oh well. I picked up two of the um, Duraflame Fire Start at home or on the go wood fire lighters, indoor, outdoor. So I picked up two of those. So my best friend and I are going to the mountains next weekend. I'm so excited. So we'll do our self care Sunday with skin mask and whatnot. We'll get there and have a fire, read our books. Yes, ma'am, I'm all for it. Um, also with, um, the, um, things, crafting, I got, because I bullet journal as well, and I need to share that with you guys. I've been bullet journaling now for a little over, um, probably I started in quarantine, so 2020. Got some double-sided tape. And then I got these to kind of hang up probably after Easter for like spring and summer just to have on my mantle. And then you can see right there is the end of my entertainment center. I kind of had it catty cornered. I know you can see my window screen because it's so windy. It's falling out. I got to put it back in. But I'll put a little garland up on my, um, I'll put a different Easter one up on there. But I'll put that particular, this particular one I'm about to show you on there and one up here just to be a little festive. I found the floral daisy garland. They also had it. This is just the white with the yellow centers. So I got two of them. Sorry, that just dropped out of my hand. Um, I got them. And then also I got, um, what else did I get for uh, other stuff? Okay. So I picked up these stickers. 20 piece stickers and I think it's doubles. So there's one sheet and another sheet and I'll use these in my bullet journaling. So I really like them. They remind me of vintage. And then I found what everybody else is hauling finally at my DT and usually that they're on the end cap at the register or at the end of the aisle. I found the key change. Take it easy, drop in, in any mailbox or don't. That one. And then I found this one, the future is female. I didn't get them all. And then there was a white with orange one and I don't know where that went, but I got that one too. It's probably around here somewhere. Then for my pantry, I went ahead and got two of the wall tap lights where you can tap anywhere, the LED, and it uses three AAA batteries. So I got two of those. So I'm gonna try these out in my kitchen pantry for at nighttime, so don't have to turn off every light in the kitchen. Just go in there and turn those on. Needed some more deodorant, my favorite kind, ladies' feet stick. I don't care. This is Shower Fresh. I use Powder Fresh. I use the Spring Blossom one. I use all the scents. They're fine for me. Then I found this Pop Snap Bangle Tie Dye um, bracelet, and 
it's not a DT product. It's one of the poppet bracelets. So I was hope I found more, but at the time I wanted to get more and I just didn't at the time. But today I hit the jackpot with some big poppets. So you'll see them upcoming really soon. And then my son's tennis shoes needed some shoelaces. I can't even say it. Shoelaces, excuse me. And this is their oval shoelaces and they're black and it's one pair. They're 45 inches long. It's by SC Johnson Company, Kiwi Sport Laces. Y'all, this, this is a name brand. Name brand for you. I'm there for it a dollar and a quarter because you know you probably pay a little bit more. Saving some cents. So there's that. So I gotta keep them out to use them. And then let's see. What else? What else is here? Oh, we're talking about poppets. Okay. The octopus bubble snap pop. They are all tada. And they're different ones, and they are not a Dollar Tree Green Bread product. So, it's this pattern, this pattern. Make up, make sure. I know they've had, like, the hearts and the squares and the octagons and the hexagons and different shapes. Then there's this pattern. And they have a little thing to make it like a keychain. And then they have this pattern, and I got three of these. Now, I, of course, I'm a teacher, so I put these in my um, reward drawers, and for the large poppets, they have to pay like a hundred barks bucks of their money that they've earned for positive incentives for good behavior, being, um, using kind words and actions, being, seeking scholarship, service, and safety, um, being the change, um, accepting diversity, so accepting opinions and other people's ideas throughout the day. So I pick up a lot of things from DT when it's name brand like this. I see it, I scoop them up, I get them all because they are going just like that. So I'm giving back to my school in a very different way through my room. And it's really helped some of our children stay focused on being behaved. Um, okay. So, I picked up another can of the Glade Stay Cool Watermelon Spray. Yes, my boyfriend tried to hijack mine in the bathroom. No, I had to get another one. Then for the bathroom, the hall bathroom and my bathroom, I went ahead and got the Sure Sense Hawaiian Air Freshener. The little crystal beads. So, I picked up two of those. So, there you can see it. I picked this up. For on top of my dryer to put some stuff in it. Got that. Like I told you, this is a big haul, y'all. Big haul. I'm getting there. I got several more things to get to. It's just a whole lot. A whole lot. Oh! Like I said, it's very windy. It has started like raining. I There was no rain in the forecast today. It was just supposed to be partly cloudy. So I also found some Ioni products, makeup again. This is the Dramatic Black Mascara, instant volume and thickness. I got two of those. So that's what the packaging, I just love this packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and open it, kind of look at it. This one says Jumbo Bristle Brush. This is what it looks like, Ioni, it's round. And then Jumbo Bristle Brush. Man, hey, I'm for it. Wow, that is Jumbo. Look at that, y'all. That is Jumbo. But hey, I have a hard time wearing certain mascaras and it like makes my eyes itch. So when I see different brands, I try different brands till I can find one that I like and then I stick with it and Truly, I haven't really found anything that I really like. So, maybe this will work. Maybe it will work. But I got two of them. One for me and one for a gift. And then somewhere around here are some other cards. But I found this one. 
Just a little Easter shout out. Oh my God, how cute is that? That is so hilarious to one of my favorite peeps. I'm here for it. That is so stinking cute. Like, look, look at that. So that's for a friend of mine. Oops, sorry about the camera. And then let's see. Like I told you, I have a lot of bags, y'all. I'm moving them towards me. So I got a DIY. And I'll I'll save food last. I've got some cleaning products to go through too and some household stuff. So I saw a DIY on Pinterest or somewhere on TikTok or somewhere on Instagram where you take the wall, the Main Street wall creation stickers, um, they're removable, and instead of just putting it on the wall, you take a four by six photo frame like this, so I got these, and I made sure they had the hook up at the top, and you take, and I saw I got always wash your hands, flush the toilet, and close the lid, floss and brush, fl blah, 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 blah. floss and brush your teeth. So I got these. So I'm gonna do a little DIY with those stickers and these three frames. So I picked that up too. I actually picked that up today. When I saw the stickers and the frames, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do that for my for my hall bathroom. Okay. Um, also, just some household. Like I said, I'm saving the food near the last last, but I'm gonna show you some products that are like kind of not food but in the food section i picked up the four cups coffee cups the travel cups i picked up four of these the little with the coffee bean and stuff and the coffee mug so there there you can see the coffee mug and the coffee bean so i picked this up to take on our trip to the mountains then, I don't know why I have not seen this at my local DT. I don't know if this is new or not. And it's by the cooking concepts. I just, maybe it's never been visible to my eye where like it just pops out at me. But I got this little sponge holder for on the side of my sink. I really needed something like that. So, I'm glad I picked that up. I got parchment paper. I'm going to give their parchment paper a try. I've not tried it yet. If y'all have tried it, please let me know. Leave a comment. Let me know how it's going. I found this cute little towel for the kitchen. It says, if my cat was my boss, my life would be perfect. Now, it's not that microfiber-like material. It's like dishcloth material. It's just very light. It's got little paw prints, little fish, like skeletons, and it says meow on it. I just thought that was so cute. So I picked that up. And then while I was over in that section, these caught my eye. They're magnets. It's the ceramic magnets. Magnets. Today's agenda. Let dog in. Let dog out. Let dog in. Let dog out. So I picked that up. The other one I got is every day is catter day. So I picked that up and then let's see here. What else? Cause I got so much more stuff coming. All right. Other household stuff that I got, I needed paper plates. So I got two of the designer plates and they're the 15 count. So I bought two of those. And then I bought for school, for work, I got the packs of the all clear um, disinfecting wipes and it kills COVID-19. So I picked up three packs of those. Also to put in the bathrooms, I don't know why this was in a different bag. The Sure Sense Hawaiian air freshener to go with the, the, bead, the beads. To kind of clean my big deep bathtub, I had a different scrub brush and I didn't really like it. So I got this Scrub scrub Buddies non-scratch score sponge. It's usually you're supposed to use it on pans, but pots and pans. I'm going to try my bathtub with the Scrub Buddies soft grip squeegee. So I'm going to try this to clean my bathtub because I want to take some baths again. Then I picked up my cooking concepts as well. 
two of the small slotted spatula turners. I just love the way these feel. I have like the ladle for gravy and it works awesome. So I'm wondering how well they'll do. I got two of the Arm & Hammer Fresh and Natural Household Odor Eliminator baking soda, the spill proof kind where you just pull the tabs. So I got two of those. And then I needed some matches to light candles in the living room when I put out my spring candles. I have the lighters too, but sometimes I just liking striking the match on the side of the box. Um, so I got the diamond strike on mat box matches, 300. I know you can get a little bit cheaper at Walmart, but I was not fighting my crowd at Walmart today. It was too many people. Also, now this is in the kitchen section, but it is not, it's the Royal Norfolk Cutlery. I got the four pack par knife, stainless steel blade, dishwasher safe. So I got them because I needed the paring knives for vegetables. It is a green bra product. So I picked that up. Okay, so that's that. The only thing that I have left to show you, I believe is food. Everything else I've gone through except for the cards. So, <clears throat> My son picked out a birthday card. Looks like this. I'm not reading it. I'm not going to show you because my best friend watches the channel and best for her. Um, I got this for a friend of mine going through tough times. Um, this is a card that my son got to, I know a good egg when I see one. Happy Easter to one good egg. He gave that to give to a friend. Um, and then he picked out this grandma's to send to his grandma's, send to his other grandma, a happy Easter card. I just thought that was so pretty. Those daffodils and butterflies. It almost looks like watercolor. You know, it had been watercolored, like that watercolor effect. And that's a happy Easter card. So you pick that out. And then I have another friend. Um, her husband just went through intensive surgery this week. And thank God he made it out okay. He's doing well. He's healing. Um, but I got him a healing piece rest. I just love the look of this. They love the beach too. So I just thought this was a perfect fit for him to send him in the mail. So she'll get it. If he's still in the hospital, she'll take it to him. Now, next thing next, food, food, food. I had not seen these before at my local DT. George and Tom's 12 sugar cones. Yes, I'm going to try this this afternoon. Um, it is good until November of 2022. So it's 12 of them. Yes, I'm here for it. Yes, I'm going to try it out. I was craving some pretzels, so I got some of the Snyder's of Hanover pretzel rods. Y'all, this is $1.25, okay? I went to Food Lion to get regular groceries, stuff that I can't get at the Dollar Tree. This bag there was $3.39. You best believe I'm going to buy this from the Dollar Tree. Yes, I'm going to pay a dollar and a quarter and not $3.39. I'm saving myself a little over $2 in some change. You best believe it. Then, I found this for me and my best friend's trip. Oh, man. I, I'm looking forward to this. I might just have to try one and, and have it now and just take, keep two here and take four with me. I could not believe they had this in my local y'all. I just could not believe it. It It is the Olive Garden signature Italian dressing that they put on their salads. You know, they're in the bottomless, endless salad. It's the single serve cups. Three single serve cups. Yes, ma'am. I'm there for it. I got it. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I might just have to have a small salad with that um, and just not put any like big fleshy 
vegetables like peppers. I won't put peppers in my salad. What else did I get? Something I'm gonna make in a very short bit with my son. I got sugar cookie, cook mix, Betty Cracker. And I got these to have in case I want it for breakfast. Banana nut muffin mix. Not that. Chocolate chip cookie mix. And I also needed some golden brown sugar and I got the Azul. I, I, I'm I fine with this. I'm fine with keeping it because it's resealable. Um, it even has a recipe on the back for brown sugar blondies cookies. So I, I'm all for that too. Hey, I can make them too. I got all that ingredients here. Might have to do it. Then I got this. And yeah, I'm gonna try this on camera. But before I try that, I got three of the body armor for $1.25. I bought the Tropical Punch, the Orange Mango, and I'll try this one. I really like this one. And the Blue Raspberry. So that is it for the food, except for this. I saw this hanging up on one of the end, end cats, like, well, not on the end cap, but one of one of those plastic strips, but in the middle of the aisle in the snack section. And this is by Anastasia Taste of Paradise. <sighs> Sophie product of the year. Um, it is Tropical Taste Coconut Island Adventures Coconut Cashew Tr Crunch Chocolate Drizzle. Oh my gosh. It even says, Taste of Paradise. Let Coconut Island take you on a tropical taste adventure with its multi-award winning Coconut Cashew Crunch, an addictive tropical treat. From Anastasia, maker of premium coconut creations for over 30 years, each sweet crunchy bite will transport you to your own person island getaway. So about eight pieces has 140 grams and 13 sugars and 18 carbs. And it does not have wheat in it, but it does contain dairy, coconut, cashews, and soy. So if you're allergic to like peanuts, like cashews, all right, couldn't eat it. But yes, ma'am, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna pretend like I'm going to a tropical place. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. And it's drizzle, y'all. I mean drizzle. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. You get quite a little bit of pieces up in there. Look at that. For this little bag. Mm. I love coconut. I love cashews. And I love things with chocolate drizzle. I just don't eat a whole. And sea salt. Mmm. Butter and brown sugar. Mmm. Mmm. And the shredded coconut is the little white flakes that you see in there. Y'all. Mmm. Bet go get your son. Ryan, go to the DT. Go get it. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot. How can I forget this? One of my favorite things is finding Dollar Tree. Look. So, this originally went for $16.49. Her last flight by Beatrice Williams. This is what the looks like. Here's the spine. Like I said, it went for $16.49. But the book on the inside cover originally was $27.99. And yes, it definitely looks like an interesting ring. Here's another one that I'm looking to read. That's called by Harriet Tice, Blood Orange. And this book originally went for $27. This is what the cover looks like. Here's the spine. It says, I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I just can't stop. A superb compulsive th thriller. Somebody said, I simply could not stop reading. Bravo. I mean, 
sometimes I, I love a good thriller. Like, I love a good book. Harriet Tice grew up in Edinburgh and studied English at Oxford University before doing a law conversion course at City University. She practiced as a criminal barrister in London for nearly a decade. She completed her MA in creative writing at the University of East and Julia. She lives in North London. Blood Orange is her debut novel. Yes, ma'am. It says here by other people, a surefire bestseller, dark original, utterly compelling. I could not put it down. A fantastic debut, dark, twisted. I read it in one heart stopping sitting. Oh, man, this will probably be me. A dark and disturbing domestic noir. Gloriously twisted. I read this in one heart pounding, furiously angry sitting. The day debut novel of the years a book that will have you keep you up all night classy thriller with complex and compelling characters oh i just i can't wait can't wait other things by beatrice williams are the summer wives and the golden hour and then last but not least i don't know if i have found this before or not this book originally went with 35 dollars y'all yes 30 dollars i may have picked this up i cannot remember but i am going to give this gift this book to my best friend's mother and if i already have gifted it to her she can give it to one of her friends that quilt it's the shots and stripes book looks like this i mean it just i mean it has like the patterns in it Tells you how to make the books. I mean, African collage. The 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 pictures are gorgeous. I mean, it tells you. It's got like right here. It's got the pattern in it. It tells you what to do. This is an awesome book. So if people love quilt making. This is for them. Yes, a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree, y'all. Well, that's it, y'all. That's it. That's my haul. We are almost forty minutes in. That is my huge haul. I've been saving up. Thank you for joining me today on this lovely weekend. It's very windy here in Virginia. Um, it's even been raining on and off. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Be sure to um, hit that like button, subscribe button, and be notified, that bell button, if you want to be notified anytime I upload a video. Um, you can follow me on Instagram with my best friend, um, Garnet. We have one together called O. O H the deals O the deals and follow us there for our fun finds um we love doing dollar tree hauls and also thrifting hauls we love to thrift have a great weekend and thank you guys bye